a yo peep this man i got another andrew tate video coming up shout out cousin sarge man he sent me this joint right here they said um cardi b obviously is being a hypocrite about something and i have no idea what we uh my cousin just said shout out cousin sarge once again he just said that cardi b need cancel i ain't gonna go to say all that because i fucks with cardi but we about to keep it real because keeping it real was free and that's what the fuck we do on this channel cardi b being a hypocrite and she said they said she they, he, she called out um andrew tate we about to see what the fuck she got to say and what they said she being a hypocrite about let's get it so this is what cardi b just said mm -hmm. yesterday she said well 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 <laughs> you know about andrew tate and his brother being arrested right cardi b now here, here's here's a crazy part while she's saying this okay Here's a crazy part while she's saying this. Rob, pull up this article from CNN I just sent you. Cardi B. Pull up the article from CNN. I just literally, I just texted it to you. Pull oh, that man. one up. I love what you said about Cardi B. Yeah, yeah I, well, but, I'll talk about that after. But I want you to see this here real quick, right after what she just said. So this is a story from CNN. Cardi B admits <laughs> to drugging Robin men years ago. Admits. Okay? Admitted. Admit it. Yeah. <laughs> Admitted yeah. it. So do you have the whole story? Do you have the whole story to click on it like the one I sent you or... Because, uh, um, Pat, this is the one where she... So let me get this right. She, I mean, I I, I know I know that she um, did say when she was a stripper, uh, she used to be robbing motherfuckers and all that. Put shit in a drink, get them all wasted and shit, or, or link up with them and everything, too, and, and, and rob these motherfuckers blind. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I, I do remember that. It's hard as fuck being a celebrity, because once you say something, nigga, that's stuck forever. Anyway. You mean to tell me that anything you could have put your voice behind, you got anything to say about Andrew Tate and sex trafficking when you was drugging and robbing niggas? What in the fuck is going? That's like, that's like, that's like, like, that's like saying, right? I steal from Walmart. And then um, I shame a bitch because she's still from Victoria's Secret. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Let's get back into it, man. She's 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 admitting when she was stripping that she would literally take guys out, yeah. drug them, yeah. drug them, and then rob the shit out of them. Yeah. And you have no idea. As, as he's looking for a pet, I pull. He said to rob the shit out of him. No cat. She's a foul motherfucker, man. People said uh, something about this. You should see the 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 people coming after me on Instagram where they were like, "Hey, you weren't in her life. You don't know what she was going through in that moment." I go, "What the you hell? You don't know what it's like to be a stripper." Yeah, yeah, no, not even that. And then and then Pat just yeah, not even that, not even close to that. What what the fuck is dude talking about? You don't know what it's like to be a stripper. No, not even that. But just let it, motherfucker. All right, so say I did some shit, and then I was just going through some hardship. That don't make it okay, motherfucker. Just recently, she does a video in her car. She's like, guess what? If my man cheats on me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a girl. We're going to take him out. I'm going to get him all drugs on, on Percocets. We're going to go and have a threesome, but she's not going to be a girl. It's going to be a guy, a tranny, and then guess what? Haha, ha, we got you. This is Cardi. Offset done cheated way too many goddamn times for you to be coming up with this new little flavor out of goddamn like what? How, I, I, you you gonna do what? <laughs> you gonna do what? What he say? A girl? It's gonna be a guy, a tranny, and then guess what? Ha ha, we got you. This is Cardi B. This is her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guess I'm just drugged and robbed, man. So go a little closer today. Cardi B took on Disgusting. Instagram too contextualize and express regret for a claim she made in a video from three years ago in a, re a resurfaced Instagram live video. The rapper claimed that during her days as a stripper, she lured men to hotel rooms for sex, but then drugged them and robbed them instead. I'm a part of hip-hop culture where you can talk about where you came from, talk about the wrong things you've done and where you are. She wrote in a note on post uh, Instagram, and it's true. She hardly, uh, the first rapper, had to have a criminal past. Da -da 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 -da. There are rappers that glorify murder, violence, drugs, and robbing crimes. They feel... They had to do to survive. I never glorified the things I brought up in the live, in that live. I never put up those things in the music because I'm not proud of it and felt responsibly not to glorify it. I mean, there was a movie made about her, by the way. Really? I don't know, you, you guys, that J Lo played. You don't remember the movie that J Lo played Hustle? two years ago? Yeah. Hustle? That was her. So, oh, she was I in mean, it? That, she's in it. Yeah. Oh, she's in right. the movie. And, and she, partly that's her story. Mm -hmm. It's partly her story. But here's the thing Cardi B, no one is saying. 
that, you know, the hip-hop culture, the past, we don't understand. We all listen to the similar type of hip-hop music. All people are saying is the following. You don't earn the right to say this because you're a hypocrite. That's the only reason. Nothing more, nothing less. Bro, like he said, nothing more, nothing less. You did what you did, which was wild. That's wild. Drugging people, they could die and overdose off these drugs. You can't be drugging people and spiking them. First of all, uh, 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 my my man Bill Cosby done done did all of his elder life fucking fighting this bullshit that they said he done put some shit in people's drink. And you admitting to it, but you able to walk around free because it was against some guys, which is bullshit. And um, though you got away with the shit and nobody sitting here bashing you or canceling you about it, all we saying is you can't say if a, if a guy fuck up. If a guy fuck up, shut your mouth and mind your goddamn business because you have no room to talk, sister. <laughs> That's all niggas is saying. You sound like a hypocrite as if somebody that walked on water and you got up to where you are today by playing some of those games, if not worse, and you admitted to it. This man's being accused of it. Now, whether he did it or not, the courts are going to do their part. But this is where you lose some credibility when you're saying mm -hmm. what you're saying. Well, the no one of the major messages that Tate talks about is, is this new wave feminism. Okay? So I think we can all agree. That, I mean, there's been like three waves of feminism. It was the first wave feminism where like women's suffrage, right to vote. Of course, who wouldn't want that? Second wave feminism is, right, like, you know, right to work, be in the workplace, not get sexually harassed. Totally makes sense. This new wave, third wave feminism, I'm a boss babe, like I don't need no man, <clears throat> like the Cardi B WAP yeah. whole situation. <laughs> he brought a WAP. Look, I'm stuttering like a motherfucker, bro. First guy, he got some points. I understand what he talking about and where he going with shit, and I totally agree with him on those. I, I agree with him on all of that shit, right? But WAP ain't got nothing to do with it. Boss, yeah, the, the, the first part, I was definitely rocking with him. The third wave is definitely this whole women independency whack-ass movement where they think they the men. I got to do this shit without a man. That shit's corny to me. Uh, but WAP stand for wet-ass pussy, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He... We, he could have ended this little show or segment right after first nigga got done talking because he, like I said, half of what he said was cool and the other half was like, bro, you just don't like bitches. Like, like you don't, you talk. he said, bro, he must not have knew what that stood for. Well, I mean, he calls these people out left and right. Yeah. And that there's no wonder that the Cardi B's of the world. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know if that article was a misspelling. The, instead of rapper, it actually wrote raper because <laughs> what she's done in her past. But yeah. he's calling out this, these high body count, hoe ass, slutty women yeah. who are being apostolized by new woke feminists. Like, I can have sex with as many men as I want. There's no repercussions for my actions. I can do what I want to do. It's like, these are the examples that they're setting for women today. Of course. It's okay. same, same as those overly, ob morbidly obese people. Like, Lizzo, yeah. they're like, she's a hero. Yeah. She has courage. No, Lizzo's she's 400 dying. pounds. Yeah, yeah, she's literally She's dying. got diabetic. <laughs> I would... I wasn't expecting. <coughs> I wasn't expecting them to fry Lizzo up like that for no damn reason. I was just, we talk about Cardi B. They done fry Lizzo's fat ass up. God damn, she ain't did shit wrong to y'all. <laughs> Hold on, what he said? Girl, yeah, she has courage. He said she's a hero. She got courage. He said, dog, she about to die. Hold on, what the fuck? Morbidly obese. People like Lizzo, yeah. they're like, she's a hero. Yeah. She has courage. No, Lizzo's she's 400 dying. pounds. Yeah. yeah, she's literally dying. She's got diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and then uh, <laughs> and, and it goes to my other point too. It's like, Pat, mind you, this is Cardi B, and this has been out for a long, long time. She's the same girl that mm -hmm. sat down with the uh with Joe Biden. They interview, like, they were like, you know what? Let's use her to get votes. They don't give a shit. Just like Bernie Sanders, too. Think about this. Bernie Sanders and the president of the United States sat down and had a real one-on-one -on -one 
with Cardi B, an openly drug. Mind you, if there's any guys out there yeah. that were drugged or raped by her, come forward. Because if she did it to you, <laughs> please come say something. Believe Where's the all real men. men? Believe, Believe all men. Believe all drugged <laughs> men. Like she, they use her. Think about it. They use her yeah. to get the minority vote, and they don't give a shit. She doesn't give a damn. Yeah. Hypocrite. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, to me. Oh, no, they really mad. Oh, they mad, mad. <laughs> yeah, I. He got veins and shit coming out of his head. Hold on, look at that. He got a vein coming straight down. Oh, he big mad. Oh, uh, yeah, I should have left this one alone. I thought, I mean, I was frying her up a little bit, but I ain't really mad because I know what they expect from these from these females. He pissed off. Shit, she doesn't give a damn. Yeah. Hypocrite. Yeah, I mean, look, to me, you, you did what you did. You made your money. You know, this as a, the mindset of a libertarian is do what you got to do to make your money. Don't break the law. Don't do anything to make your money. But she made her money breaking the law. Any of that stuff, if she got caught doing that, that is a rape. That you're taking advantage of. Not necessarily rape. That's called robbery. You're stealing money from people. Yeah, that ain't rape at all. Um, but I don't know if it could be assault or nothing, neither. But there's definitely something for putting... Uh, date rape drugs in people's drinks um, so it's definitely illegal as fuck and then the robbery uh, part um, they might even be able to say the prostitution part cause they thinking they getting some coochie all type of shit I don't know but that she she wronged the motherfucker people yep. you could go to jail for that but she's forgiven so again all of this goes back to a guy called out the BS on the establishment, and they're not happy about it, and they got to take him down. It's that simple. There's calls that are saying this guy's getting louder and louder and louder. Stop him now before he gets more momentum. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another, hey, that's why I just made that last video defending him. But I'm about to probably shut my mouth for they get me the fuck out of here because I'm this big. I'm easy to get out of here. I won't even be a spat. I'm a just a fly on the wall. <laughs> you feel me? So I will shut my mouth after this one. I might tune in to some more hair and there. If y'all want to see me do some more reactions on Tate, just make sure y'all put that in the comments. Sub to the channel. Go Ham TV. Bow.